Hello and welcome to Space Engineers. You're watching my speed build of a Y-Wing Starfighter from Star Wars. Now, I was building uh, some random ships just messing around in the game, practicing, and when I was building started to kind of remind me of a Y-Wing from Star Wars, so I figured I would just try and replicate one in the game. Now, if you're watching this and wondering what this game is, I really recommend you check it out. Uh, it just got released on Steam Greenlight a few days ago, and it's in the very, very early alpha stages. Um, so it's somewhat limited in what you can do right now, but like Minecraft, as the game uh, continues to grow and develop, they'll release new content uh, as it's available. This game has a ton of potential, and I think it could be something really, really big in the future. Now, unlike Minecraft and other similar uh, building games, this is a physics-based game. So everything has mass, you can kick things around, um, you can send things tumbling off through space, and unlike Minecraft, you can build vehicles, like obviously spaceships, and fly them around, and you can build space stations, and there's going to be crafting and uh, the need to harvest materials from asteroids, and a lot of other really cool features are going to be added as the game develops. And like Minecraft, there will be community mods available for this game, so the creativity is pretty much limitless. I won't go into too much more detail about the rest of it, I'll post that in a future video where I'm actually, you know, building stuff in, in real time, not, you know, high speed, super fast animation. But anyways, uh, building this Y-Wing was uh, a lot of trial and error since I'm, you know, very, very new to this game, so I'm still trying to figure out the building system and um, what pieces go where and what you're allowed to stick to certain things. Um, but all in all, it really came out um, very well, I was very happy with it. Uh, you can see that I've got the cockpit and one of the engines pretty much done, but I actually go through and completely redesign the cockpit uh, at the end just because I didn't think it was proportionate to the body of the aircraft, or spaceship I should say, when it was all said and done. So i got to put my engines on and make sure that they're facing in every direction so I can start and stop going in any direction. You know, unlike Star Wars where they just have the engines in the back and things fly through space like airplanes. Unfortunately, that's not the way that it really is. I'm starting to get close to the end here, so let's go ahead and transfer to the finished product so you can see uh, what it looks like all said and done, and we'll go ahead and fly it around. Okay, so here we are. We are in my space station, which is currently under construction, just started it. Um, but this is the finished Y-Wing, pretty much finished Y-Wing. Um, you can see I actually extended the cockpit a little bit more forward, made it a bit larger, just because I didn't feel like it was proportionate to these massive engines. See, I tried to replicate it as best I could, and let's go ahead and turn on my jetpack so we can get above it. Go first person. So I, you know, got the little turret cannon up here at the top. Um, I put a gyroscope on the back here, so it looks like you know the R2 bot that would be. Uh, kind of the engineer for the the spaceship and I've got all these extra engines of course pointing off to the side because you know I need to be able to control this thing when it's flying got the reverse thrusters you know be able to go up and down and kind of painted it in the yellow and white and gray to kind of somewhat match the way it looks in the film so let's go ahead and get in the cockpit you can see the cockpits in this game are you know pretty detailed I guess they're pretty good looking pretty cool and we'll go ahead and start up the engines so you can see all that going and let's go ahead and take off gotta be careful not to uh, hit anything obviously let's go ahead and turn it a little bit and looks like we're clear so you can see all these asteroids and stuff, uh, there's big ones, small ones. Now currently, the asteroids are not movable. Um, that's something the uh, game designers have said, that they're contemplating whether or not they want them to be movable or not. So we'll just have to see, but those other, the red and the blue ship down there are large spacecraft. And those are a different kind of build, they don't have the same you know, cockpit as something like this one does. These are, you can only get inside the cockpit of these like smaller ships, so you'd build, you know, a ship like this to be a fighter or 
you know, a little mining ship to transport you to and from a, a mine or a big ship to a spaceport. Let's go back to the outside view so you can see what it looks like. You can see all the engines going as I'm stopping there. So as soon as I let go of the thrust, the gyroscope kicks in and makes my spaceship stable. Now if I wanted to I could actually disable those uh, reverse thrusters so I, I could you know get my head of steam and just let it go and continue going off without having to hold down the button which is pretty cool if you're gonna be traveling long distances so that asteroid down there you can see with all the different colors that's you know different minerals and ores and such that you can eventually we'll be able to mine. The tools and the weapons and stuff don't currently work, so that cannon on the top of this thing I can't fire yet. But anyways, um, thanks for watching the video. Uh, let me know if you like it, what you think of you know, the build, some other things you might want to see me build. Um, I'll be posting definitely a lot more footage of this game, especially as new updates come out for it, because um, it's got such great potential and I'm really excited to see um, where it goes. Anyways, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.